Hello and welcome back to Pink and Play Test Fun for the Kazarak Band. We're back in the Russian Empire and the Tsarist Empire. That's with Kirill the First. I've come up with an exceptionally bold plan to gain some lands and regain some prestige. So, at the moment, there's the war between the Ottomans and Iran. What we could do is come down in here. Middle East direction takes 70 days. Offering protection to Persia takes 18, while attacking them takes 14, but. Offer protections, take over their north in case they get annexed by the Ottomans, and then crush Turkey. We get some protections from Iran, then we go after Turkey to get the Straits of the uh, Straits of the Dardanelles, possibly even going after status of Armenia. So first, Middle East direction, 70 days, long time. Offer Persia protection, status of Armenia. Then crush Turkey, because Turkey is likely going to win this war. I'm bringing down the army of Europe, a rather weak and not veteran army down here, under Peter Rangel himself. And together, these two armies will uh, look after the place. So, with this army together, bam. Ah, Cornelia, Memento Mori. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good, it's good. You guys get in that position. Central Asia. Which are currently over Mongolia. I could put troops in Iran area. Uh, 1939, 39, 39, 38. Aha. Computing machines. <coughs> Get troops on the line everywhere. You and your army, you can switch over to, say, nice green, perhaps a nice dark green. The Tsar is dead. Oh. His Royal Highness Kirill Romanov Tsar and Autocrat of all Russia has died less than two years after the restoration. Thankfully, the line of succession is now clear. His young son, Vladimir, shall be crowned as this new Tsar. Well, the Tsar ordained by the, by the wisdom of God. We have Vladimir the Third Romov. He will lead our nation to victory behind his beautiful mahogany desk. Chief of Reactionary Landowners, Vladimir Purishkirev. Moderate Military Man, Anton Dinskin. Felix Yuzapov, get him back in. Uh, I think he is uh, overstate his welcome. That base stability down is annoying. Hmm. Artillery equipment. I think Denikin can have his time in the limelight, Mr. Denikin. Get Yuzapov out of there. A liberalized economy. No. Well, it would be lovely to get the quest to be competitive. Perhaps later. Middle East direction. German Empire. Iran and Ottomans and Turkey, which doesn't exist yet, would not like me, but that's their problem, not mine. Eventually we can also go after Mongolia. They're always a nice little target. Finland. You've had it too good for too long, in my opinion. All Reich's Pact members are still in the Reich's Pact. Bulgaria leaving to join the Danua area boon is definitely annoying. They're international. It's, uh, it's a bit scary, especially with the CNT FAI is going to become a part of this. Kind of funny that they made it so that the Portuguese almost always take over Valencia. Wait, no, this is Galicia. Oh, Valencia is down there. They almost always take over Galicia, which I guess makes some sense. The Galicians are kind of similar to the Portuguese. Hmm. So if we fight the Ottomans, who have. A very a decent size. Father Beijing, sad times. A decent sized army and eight factories. Sultan of Egypt has four, but they have zero current men. Sudan has zero factories and zero men. Tripolitani has six. Arabia has zero and zero. So we're just going to have to fight possibly up to 47 of you. And Ottoman decline is very good. It means it hurts them quite a lot. And your surrender limit is occupied. Yeah, the Ottoman counter pack standoff. You are fine. The Ottoman Gendarme. Fine mobilization. Ottoman Public Debt Administration. They have a lot of nice, neat little factories. Finish Civil War over. Uh, Tehran on the front lines. I do not like. Come on. I don't want to have to fight you in all theaters of the war. But I, I will if I have to. But I don't want to. Because if Iran falls too quickly, I will have to break off. End of the Spanish Civil War. Beer and Federation, do not like that. Not a fan, not a fan, to be honest. To be honest, not a fan. 
You guys building up those early destroyers. Nice. Starting to build one every year, but that's with a single naval dockyard. Then one this year on that early vet tree. Hey, hey, look at that. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. That'll pretty much be the last thing that gets built. As this will push on, push on. Uh huh, uh huh. Construction. Starting to rebuild military factories. Got a lot of air bases planned to be built. I'm pretty sure. You know, I could start building down here when it comes to naval factory buildings. That's Im it's important to me. I, w I need my navy up and running fast. Then we got decisions available. Oh, yeah. Develop cruiser technology. Add technology. But does that really just add technology? Really? Really? Just give me better cruisers if I do that? That's that's pretty cool. We're going to build up our planes, our defenses, and our computing machines. I'm surprised we're not taking too much damage down here. We got a lot of divisions just sitting around. That's very surprising. I have a lot of army experience. I should use it. I could get anti-tank. You're at 18 division at the moment. But boy howdy, if I put anti-A in there. Oh man, that's gonna be big. You're the basic division, as you should be. Motorized division is very small. Armor division is basically non-existent. Let's see here. I have no anti-tank ready. I have 200 artillery needs to be filled. I have 80 anti-air in the entirety of my nation. I can add in anti-air. It's going to make that... Ah, there goes Iran. So, the Ottomans, too fast, too spoopy for me. Which means you troops, your individual lines are going to have to go away for a while. Ah, you guys can hold your positions, but you, gotta go down there to Iran. We're still planning this, boys, we're still planning this. It means that Middle East direction will have to be, go we have to get Armenia and then focus down Iran. Well, we might be able to still negotiate with Iran. I haven't checked yet, to be honest. Hey, hey, hey. December of 38. Hmm. It's not that far ahead of time. We should get those, though. Some better machine guns. Machine gun Kelly. If I can fight my way through the Ottomans, we can fight our way through anything. Because this is going to be a large Ottoman. Mass for the motherland. And Namibog. Now, Nami bug. Nami. Seems like everyone we want to win everywhere is just dying. I remember there was one comment on a video getting really mad at me for not supporting the Carlists, and I really don't understand why people believe that I should always support the Carlists just because that we specifically are the paternal autocrats. I mean, in this, in this mod, you'll find that the actual the ideologies don't mean a lot. I mean, just take the difference between uh, 19th... Yeah, I'll, I'll go a little bit ahead of time. I mean, just take the difference between what the national populace in America is to the national populace of Brazil, and you'll find that actual ideological stances and uh, war support really don't change much. If we can take over... Yeah, Armenia there. Because also, there was a specifically an event that said support the Kingdom of Spain, and I thought, okay... If there's an event happening in terms of roleplay, roleplay in a game that I do not control means there's a bit of improvisation that has to go along, regardless of whether I want things to go. We need one water port, so we cannot... Yeah, they do not control Mazadan, Tehran, or Iran is fully independent, so I cannot do that. I can crush them, but I can't do that. So we go down status of Armenia to get Armenia on our side first, while troops still trickle in from the north. So Central Asia... Your men. Battle plan, take Tehran. Let's see, any fleets nearby that we can help? See, over here, no, it's not too far. Too far, too far. Gotta move in. We have to fight the Ottomans, Iran, Arabia, Egypt, Tripolitania, and Sudan, but what we can get from this war would be lovely. Which means that their armies are gonna start pouring in as well. Gonna mess with the motherland once again. 
Hmm. Hey, don't we have that fighter? Fighter one? What can oh we got Oh, we got close air support now. Right. Still down eighteen thousand, but eighteen thousand is nowhere near where we used to be. Maybe we could attack Afghanistan, get them on board. Integration of Turkestan is done. Nice. Development battleship technology. That does take up civilian factories, and then we're using those for construction, but they're not that important. We are focusing on, you know, building up this. We want to build up our naval decision. Our naval decision. Status of Armenia. With the majority of the Caucasus under Russian dominance, we must choose our stance for the independent state of Armenia. We can either try to bring them into the fold using the direct threat of military full power or via covert operations. Demand their incorporation. Armenia against incorporated us. Try to establish control of the Armenians. War will resolve this. Or demand their incorporation. Ah, we will solve. War will solve this. Sorry there, little buddy. Sorry there, pal, old friend. In we come with five divisions straight into your face. All forces being capitulated. It's a lovely thing. The women's division will move into Yerevan. Again, the Russian women will save the day. You go to Nekchiren, just in case. Some of the attacks are starting to falter. But, you know, it is what it is, you know. So over here, zero divisions, 20 to 48. Now is the time to strike. The Ottomans can only get stronger in their position. So, that's 14 days... But we can't... Against War Goal Annex. We don't need to fire that War Goal, though. Yeah, you go that way, you guys go that way. This war will be done soon. Indeed, it was. Take all states. Done. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bambino. So you with your troops under Rangel. Get your lines together again. Work yourselves out. Mexico's joined the Entente. I what? Ay, 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 what? Return autocrats, the military junta. Huh. What do you know? Follow Sacramento. So, we got the European force ready to invade the Ottoman territories. Basically, I'm monkey. So, from Trabiz over to Trabzon will be your fighting area. All men, get your positions. Meanwhile, these troops are each in a fight because they're so small. Ah, post dreadnought race. Dread. Post dreadnought race. That's. You go down to one. Add that post dreadnought race. Bam. Make four of those. Join up with the Black Sea Fleet. That is what it's called now. Black Sea Fleet. Black Sea Fleet. Black Sea. F Black Sea Fleet. We only have destroyers in the Black Sea fleet at the moment. Sad times. Secure the straits. Mr. Rengel, how are your troops? How are their planning? Plan preparation? Go, staff office plan. Get that plan operation going. They need to get to position first. We also need to ask for greater Armenia before we can really go anywhere. Outdated, yeah, but it's going to be built up. It's fine. We have a post dreadnought race in one year, two a year for armored cruisers. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, Canadian Commonwealth, a little bit late, but you know, good for you. A little late, a, um, I'll admit, a little late, but if Mexico joins, I'd be interested. And Armenia incorporated into Russia, great, as they were. War goal available, and it doesn't go away. So basically, a monkey. You, for some reason, really like your plan because of inferior enemy, but they're still coming in. Let's check on those plans. Entrenched bonuses. Everybody's ready. Your plan is aggressive, as it should be. We will wait to see if they will give us Armenia, and then we'll see what happens. You, get on to your plans, boys, get on your plans. The Regent Social Republic has joined the Third International. Of course you did. I thought you got kicked by Sweden. That might be a different game I'm thinking about. Outdated production. 
Go away. I don't need you here. Come on, boys. Come on. These troops are a little bit not that important. Come on. We await their word on Armenia. We await their sounds. Hmm. Quest to be competitive now. Can start going. We ask for greater Armenia. What say you, Ottomans? Vladimir Pushkarev dies. Uh-huh. We've not heard any word from them. Hmm. But we do have a claim on Lazistan. Turks declare war on us! It seems that we have angered the Turks in our demand concerning Greater Armenia declared war on us and calling us names we haven't heard about since 1676. They'll regret this. Or take advantage of this war claim. We already have all of those as. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, the advantage of the war is the claim Constantinople. Of course it is. Obviously, go. Central Asia more than anywhere else. Go, go, go. Time to attack. Are they not going to call in these troops? That would be interesting. Iran, join the war. Come on, you know you want to. You know you want to. I am currently attacking everyone and everybody. Over in Rangel's plan. Yeah, attack. I'll attack. Really? Tripolitania is called in. Not Iran yet, though. We can force the issue by attack by claiming ports. That is true. That's a true statement. Hmm. At the very least, cars. Zemostu together. Strength splendid. Factory output. Aww. Thanks, guys. Thank you for factory output. We have 4 million manpower. We are okay on that front. You guys are fighting the good fight. Can I add any planes? I cannot. We must not have any. You men, go ahead and join up with them then. Yeah, you as well. All planes in Mother Russia must fight on their side. Must fight here now. Go. Fight for them. We're losing a lot of planes over there for no real reason. Uh, Egypt is in. No one else, though. Normal attacks. You. We can break through cars. At least it says we can. And I choose to believe them. But this is the soft underbelly of the Ottomans. If you can just go. If not, we'll have to... Uh, we're going to have to break through and claim cold water... Cold water? Warm water ports. No template on toad into air yet. Yet, my good man. Cars is ours. Arabia's been called in. You. A strong push around. You. Defense. 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 Attacking all angles, boys. Attacking all angles. Just waiting for that day that Iran gets called in, unless we need to... I guess if we do take that one goal, we get claims on all the Iranian territory. Uh, you specifically get in that way. Just so you can end up with a little bit of defense in the back. Hey, you. Stop him. Stop. Stop. Some other guy dies. It's not my concern who's dying. It's my concern who's living. Oh. I like your style. Stick the traps on. You, with a little bit more power. Try to stop him there. Sudan has been called in. We'll have to fight him eventually. They'll call on Iran or we'll call him against him. Luckily, the warm water ports doesn't take very long. Ooh, cheeky buggers. Australasia, first movement. Are they battleships? Am I building one? The Ismail class. Well, I was only building one. Oh, look at that. Actually, I can just get rid of you and upgrade you entirely to the, to the other battleship. Goody, goody, goody. Let's keep pushing along. The Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. You, stop him. Say stop. Stop! No, Mikasa! Stop! You just keep pushing along the Christmas tree. And then, once we get to the Trapson, 
That'll be it, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <coughs> yep. Actually, they've already been cut off. Ah, finally. With the Iran called in. There we go, boys. Now, this army who's been stewing it over over here can finally take over Tehran. Lovely stuff. And Trabzon will fall to us. <clears throat> Dab on him. You, one of them, good. Let's come on over. Tr Trabzon on our side. Can we really lose? Then these troops can just go ahead and get taken out. And Ardalan and over. Over to Resi. Hold there, keep pushing in. This area. Are you sure you don't want to push forward? Seems like the perfect place to push forward. Over here. Lovely first engagements. Support for uh, Zamosto. <coughs> no, you need to make sure we hold on to that, please. And you. What is even going on here? You're not even in line. We'll finish up that little pocket. And with that, I'm going to cut this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.